Alright, so I've got some more information on the March title update for Gears of War 4, which as you may know is title update 5. Uh, anyway, there's a big post here on the Xbox website about what's coming in the March update. So I felt like skimming through and telling you guys about what's new for the March update. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are interested in that. So we may as well dive in with the most important things. Uh, we're going to get two new maps this month as per usual. We're going to get one new map called Diner, which I'm not going to lie, at first I really did think that this was Nowhere from Gears of War 2, but it turns out that it's not Nowhere, it is Diner. Uh, it turns out that it's a completely new map. And uh, the way they've described it is a lone neon lit diner in a dusty wasteland is the latest battleground for Gears of War 4. Developed over the course of the last 18 months, this map represents one of the most refined tactical experiences yet seen in a map from the Coalition. Combat inside the diner is intense and claustrophobic as you fight for control of the kitchen and snipers spawn. Expect smaller engagements that demand close quarter skills to come out on top. The parking lot's a more open affair with the focus shifts to ranged combat. Work as a team and win the outside and open up new flanks to catch out your opponents inside the diner. So we've got Old Town coming back, which is from Gears of War 3, which I'm, I'm actually quite excited to see this map come back. Uh, I'm not going to say that it was my favourite map from Gears of War 3, but it definitely was a damn fun map to play, that's for sure. Uh, however, Old Town. Uh, Old Town is back, one of the standout maps from Gears of War 3. This map has been reimagined in a snowy UIR coastal town, complete with a looming, looming UIR base in the distance. Uh, Old Town features the same layout fans know and love, with its clearly defined free lanes and asymmetrical elevation change from low to high. Fight over the torque and the sniper under the bell tower, stall to stall in the market, or hunker down in the tight, long sighted sight-lined alleyway. With new weapon swaps, the dynamics of the critical alleyway fight have evolved. One round will force the fight into close range with the addition of the overkill shotgun, while the other will encourage range combat thanks to the new marks of pickups. Win the fight to claim the boom shot or new to Gears of War 4, the drop shot that will spawn here. As per usual, both maps are available on the developer playlist from today, the 7th, until, until the 14th where they will be available for the general population of the game. Uh, of course, in the developer playlist as well, you've got double XP and 20% bonus credits. Uh, of course, the maps are only going to be in the developer playlist for a short amount of time, so if you've got that season pass, you want to take advantage of it right now. Another new thing they're adding in this month is ranked lobbies. The ranked lobbies are something that we've been asking for for a long time for the ranked players. Uh, ranked lobbies are really important. And as it stands, you've been playing one match, you finish that match, you back out, and you find another lobby. It is very boring, tedious, and a bit it's a bit slow. Uh, however, they're adding in the lobbies, and uh, now they're basically going to work like social quick play. Uh, if a player quits out prior to the match beginning, the pre-game countdown will cancel and continue searching to keep mal matches balanced, which is great because if you've got one person dropping out, you're going to be playing 5v4, and 5v4 on Gears isn't exactly the easiest thing to do ever, so it will kind of find you another player before the match begins, which is great, and uh, it's going to... Yeah, that, that, I'm just reading this right now, I'm skimming, skimming through. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. It's definitely going to be like lobbies from like Call of Duty or whatever, so that definitely is going to change the way that the core versus modes play. Uh, of course, as I said in my video yesterday, there is going to be the Nashian improvements, uh, which is great to hear. I have always wanted the Nashian in this game to function properly, and now that it works properly, uh, with its close range consistency being changed to being a lot more consistent and predictable Well, that's definitely going to change how the rest of the game is and for the month ahead We've got some interesting stuff in and it's something that I said was actually going to happen They said they're going to be kicking things off with a brand new legacy character to collect This legacy character will be available in a few weeks time via crafting But lucky fans may find him brackets. Yes, that's a hint early in our March gear packs in the week ahead. Speaking of gear packs releasing this month, we'll have new characters and weapon skins to add to your collection during March. Stay tuned for new info. Okay, okay, we can't leave it here. Here's a few sneak peeks to whet your appetite as for what's to come. And I'll show you this right here in the video. Uh, they've showed us a boom shot which has this new skin. Looks very much like the static skin from Gears of War 4 that was added in Season 2. It's kind of like the static skin and uh, it's a bit more consistent, so it's like a it's like a consistent flash on the weapon. And here we have it, the Locust Drone. Uh, that looks a lot like the Locust Drone, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that is the drone right there. So we're going to get the drone first to collect. Uh, scrap only 
craft only, but you can get them in gear packs as well. And uh, we've got some new weapon skins as well, which suggests that we're going to get a Series 3 very shortly. So if I'm estimating things right, I think the Season Pass holders will also get Season Pass free airdrop. Uh, season free airdrop for free uh, is how it worked with Season 2. The Season Pass holders got the Series 2 airdrop for free, and I'm assuming they're going to get Series 3 airdrop for free as well. Or one of them at least, and I really hope they do because, you know, it's something great for the Season Pass holders. Uh, you know, they, they deserve to have some stuff because they spent 40 quid in a game that's got free DLC, you know. Um, however, they've got some new stuff. Uh, they've also, on March 24th, they're going to have a Versus themed weekend, which is probably no doubt going to be Osok. Uh, they're going to be doing monthly events now. Uh, in March 31st, they're going to be having a Horde themed weekend. Whereas on the 24th, it's going to be a versus themed weekend. So it seems like they're going to mind the Horde players a lot more now. Because we've had a couple of special weekends for the multiplayer, the versus. However, we've not really had many special events for Horde, which is great. Because I want to play a lot more Horde, but, you know, there's never really much going on for it. So uh, it seems like it's going to... Yeah, so, yeah, they're going to do that now. But we'll continue to add versus and Horde weekend events every third Friday after an update featuring a versus themed event followed by a horde themed event the weekend following that one we'll reveal, we'll reveal more about each weekend in the week leading up to the event but we're pretty sure versus snipers are going to be particularly happy this month oh boy that means we're getting fucking osok boys here we go can't wait for that shit uh, so yeah, they've got some new information down at the bottom about the Funko Pops, but I doubt you guys are really in interested in that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, March update sounds great. Uh, it sounds like a good update actually, of course, because this is probably the best update we've had so far. Uh, we're probably going to get Season 2, Season 3 gear, which is great. Uh, we're going to get this new Legacy character, we're going to get these two new maps. And of course the Nasher is going to be fixed, thank the fucking lord. This is going to be a great March update, I can tell. Uh, probably the best update we've had so far, as I said. So, uh, yeah, leave your opinions in the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the best update? Do you think it's the worst? I think it's the best in terms of shit that should be in the game. Uh, of course, they should have had the Locust in the game since the moment the game came out. But, you know, whatever. Uh, also, they're going to be having the Season 3, which is probably going to debut sometime soon. Uh, it probably won't be exactly immediately. But anyway, as I'm making this commentary... The, uh, the update has officially dropped, so yeah, I'm going to go play this update and I'm going to get you some live comps and the new maps. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, it's been a long career, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh, you can probably expect the live comps and the new maps to be up soon, uh, probably either today or tomorrow, I'm not too sure, but they will be up very shortly. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.